In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I built this 3D printed coffee creamer dispenser. It uses a standard wide mouth mason jar, and if I bump this switch, it will dispense a teaspoon of coffee creamer into my cup. I designed the parts in Fusion 360, and I'll take you through those steps if you wanna design one on your own, or if you just wanna download mine, uh, you're welcome to do so. I'll put a link down below in the description where you can download mine and uh, just print one. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna start the project by making the auger first and we're gonna start by making a coil. Here my coil has a diameter of six millimeters and a length of 87. And in that distance, it's making six coil revolutions and I can change this to any number I want. If you want a faster dispense, less coils will feed more material per rev. This coil tool only gives you a coil with a cross section that's either a square or a circle. And we want kind of a flared out uh, fin. So we're going to create a construction plane on the end of our coil. And in that construction plane, we're gonna draw the cross sectional profile of our auger. Instead of just doing a simple rectangle, I put a 30 degree angle in here to make it easier to 3D print without having structural support. Now that we have our cross-sectional profile, we're going to sweep it along the path of our coil. Here I'm clicking our profile, clicking the path, and clicking the direction. And now we have something that looks kind of like a corkscrew. And I'm just going to speed through the timeline here and add the center shaft for support, adding a bearing for the non-drive side. And on the bottom, this is a flange to accept a metal clamp to attach to the output shaft of the gearbox. Taking a closer look at the bearing end of the shaft, I made sure to put a little shoulder on the shaft so the two rotating surfaces of the bearing aren't rubbing. Here's what the shaft looked like printed with no supports. Here's what the solid model looks like for the body of the dispenser, I'm adding the non-drive side bearing this is the motor adapter, the motor, and the shaft coupler. I wasn't sure what I was gonna use for an electronics box, so I just put this array of holes on the bottom just in case, and I ended up using them. I designed this to be able to take a wide mouth mason jar and screw it on the top, and I made those threads the same way I made the auger. Because the motor mounting bolts are covered by my housing, I had to make this flange adapter so the four inner bolts bolt to the motor and the two bolts on the ears are what bolt to the housing. And here's the final print. I needed some trees to support the overhangs in the 3D print, but these just pluck out with a pair of pliers and a screwdriver. This is the motor shaft coupler. I'm just attaching that to the auger and this is the bearing that goes on the end. This is the grub screw that clamps the collar onto the motor shaft. In my first iteration, I forgot to leave a slot there to get my Allen wrench in to tighten the grub screw, so I had to reprint my motor flange. I jumped power to the motor to get the flat spot of the shaft to line up with the grub screw. And now that I have a slot, I can actually fit my tool in to tighten it. I have the bearing pre-installed in the housing and inserting the shaft, everything seems to line up pretty well. You can see the shaft engaging the bearing there. I did leave some adjustment for the auger's position so that the bearing preload could be adjusted if needed. The mason jar fits on pretty well. To size the screw holes, I'm using this hole checker with 100 different hole sizes, and I can find the hole that fits best for either forming threads or for a through hole. To house all the electronics, basically just a time delay relay and a switch, I made this plinth base, which bolts onto the bottom of the housing. This time delay relay gave me all kinds of problems. As you can hear, it's re-triggering itself without me pushing the button. I ended up having to add a diode on the back of the motor, just as a test, and that seems to remedy the problem. The time delay relay has a multi-turn pot to adjust the time setting. I'm printing this in PLA, which is supposedly non-toxic, 
but I do need to go through and either flame polish or go through the scotch bright pad and knock off some of these whiskers. Overall, I'm pretty happy and excited how well this turned out. It was just meant to be kind of a fun exercise and a challenge, but I could see myself using this every day when I make my coffee. All right, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Um, in the description below, I'll leave a link to the 3D prints that I made on Maker World, and you can download and print them for free. I also have a second auger that I made for lower speed, uh, for maybe Splenda. This one's what I call high speed, but it's still a little low because the, the motor is a 30 RPM. So if you wanted to dispense faster, you could buy maybe the 60 RPM motor. Um, anyway, it's something fun to tinker with. It's kind of a frivolous, fun project, but hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you next time.